Hi, this is Liz Surya with Express Tax and Bookkeeping Services, and this is a continuation of uh, QuickBooks tutorials. Uh, on this training, uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually record bank register transactions. Um, this is only applicable to companies who do not require uh, to keep um, accounts receivable or accounts payable. Um, Scenarios could be retail businesses or cash, uh, again, something that is not required for you to record uh, the actual accrual basis. So we're going to go to the right side of the corner, and we're going to double click where it says checking. And the very first step we're going to do is we can go ahead, as you can see, that's highlighted the date. We can always override it. In this case, uh, we're going to go ahead and skip that and tab. We're going to delete check number because this is a deposit. We're going to go ahead and select the customer. We're going to head all the way to the top. And then in this case, we have uh, Robert Sage. And Robert Sage has actually paid us $250. We're going to input that number. And then we're going to go down to the general ledger. And the general ledger, we're going to head to the income. And uh, he has actually paid us for design services. If you really want to be detailed, um, I think, and I usually recommend for you to use the memo field, um, because in this case, let's say that uh, uh, this client actually only pays a partial payment. So it's something that you can record and make yourself a little notation. Let's go ahead and do that properly. Here we go. Partial payment. And we can also, for an example, put here, there's a balance of perhaps $250. So we can go ahead and enter that and record it, or we can always obviously click here on the record button. Now, this is how simple it is to actually record a customer payment if, again, like I said, you're not required to do an invoice uh, for, for the client. Um, now we're going to go ahead and record a vendor's payment. Um, so we have another vendor, and the vendor in this case, we're going to leave that check number. Now keep in mind that QuickBooks does keep uh, in sequence number uh, the checks that you have. In case you need to override it, all you need to do again is delete that and you can type in the, the actual check number. We're going to tab and we're going to go ahead and select now a vendor. And now the vendor is going to be a great statewide bank and we have an actual bill with them for um, $175. We're going to tab, and then we're going to go ahead and go into an expense account. Okay. Now, the expense accounts in this case, for an example, it could have been a finance charge that we have. Okay. So we can put here finance, and then we can go ahead and record that in the bank register. So that's how simple it is. We have just recorded a customer payment right over here, $250, and we have also recorded a vendor's payment. On my next tutorial, I will be teaching um, what it is to how to record accounts payable and also how to do an accounts receivable, um, especially for something that is applicable to your type of business. I'm going to close here and um, until next time, and we're going to continue this type of tutorials that way business owners can learn properly how to record their transactions and hopefully make less mistakes. Thank you so much, and until next time.